Hey, honk up your horny, huh? Somebody did. And somebody owed me 379 bucks plus tip. 379? Plus tip. <laughs> so there was a matter of 379 dollars. Valerie, no one will work harder for you. I mean, I know what you need to have done, and I can do that. Valerie? Yeah. I'm sorry, could you stop? There's a looky loo. Oh. Oh! <laughs> All right, very funny. Yeah. Could you move, please? Go. Could you just not be there? Can you go somewhere else? Oh, he's obnoxious. Should we just move to another? I'll be right back. You can't. What happened to the dog? She hit him with the bat. She can't hurt me, so she goes after the dog. That dog was dangerous. He was training it to attack me. The dog couldn't hurt nothing. They were going to kill it because it wouldn't fight. That's why I took him. I taught him to fight back. I know because he bit me when I pulled her off. He was hurting. Thought I was hurt. Hello, boys. What's for lunch? You brought quiche to school? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, my dad's a gourmet chef. Lucky for you, I like quiche. Now, your sister wanted me to make a little speech about how much you mean to me as a friend, but I don't really do speeches. Yeah, that's cool. And you're not really my friend. <laughs> but you have been growing on me. And I've decided if any harm is going to come to you, Corey, it's going to come from me. Yeah. First step in solving any problem is admitting that you have a problem. Yeah. We're going to pool our problems together. I'm going to squeeze your head until you admit you're smoking. Or juice comes out. Whichever happens first, I don't really care. 